Hi there, gorgeous, and a very happy Drugstore December and Dupe It December to you. It's Thursday, which means it's time for another dupe video, and today I'm showing you a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette with a new one that was just released very recently from Alter Ego Cosmetics, and that is their Aurora palette. So I'll be showing you up close today how they compare in swatches and on the eyes, and I'll let you know of the differences and similarities that exist between these palettes, and whether or not the Alter Ego Cosmetics palette can give you a really close match to Natasha Denona or not. The colors in these palettes, oh my gosh, they are so <laughs> vibrant and such a colorful arrangement of shades. Very warm palette, <laughs> which I really don't need to say, but the shades in here are simply gorgeous. Usually in my duping videos, I save the swatches until the end of the video, but I'm going to be showing you those first because there are some differences that I want to point out for you before I show you the mini tutorial that I included on my eyes between these palettes. So these are what the palettes look like when they're swatched side by side. Now on first glance, it's really hard to tell a difference between the two palettes, but when you really take the time to study the eyeshadows up close, you'll notice that the Aurora palette is not as pigmented as the Sunrise palette. There are some shades that are a little bit stronger in pigment with Natasha Denona's palette compared to the Alter Ego palette, which I thought was really interesting because usually when I put these dupe videos together, the dupe is the one that ends up being the more pigmented version as opposed to the high-end palette. But in this instance, it was reversed with a few of the shades, and I'll be pointing those out to you a little bit later in the video. In terms of colors, the Aurora palette is almost identical to the Natasha Denona palette. And while there are some very slight differences in some of the shades, which I'll point out to you here shortly with the eye tutorial that I'm about to show you, it really doesn't make a huge difference. I also wanted to mention the formula. With Natasha Denona eyeshadows, some of them are creamy in consistency. It's a very different formula if you've not experienced it before. It's almost as if you're applying a cream to powder product on your eyes. And it's a very nice, rich consistency to work with. And what I found to be really fascinating is that you get that same consistency in the Aurora palette. And a lot of the shades in here have that same cream to powder finish as the Natasha Denona palette. So in terms of formula matching, I mean, they did a pretty good job with this palette too, for that matter. And the matte shades are also really good between these two palettes. Natasha Denona's mattes are very soft, easy to work with, easy to blend. And the same thing with the Aurora palette. I did not struggle with any of those eyeshadows at all. So all together, the quality of the Aurora palette was exceptional and it does match up to Natasha Denona's quality. So in that instance, very excellent dupe that we have here. Now for the up close eyeshadow application, I did do a little mini tutorial. So I'll walk you through that here so you can see how the eyeshadows apply side by side. So the first shade that I took from each of these palettes is Star from the Aurora palette. By the way, I am applying the dupe palette to the left side of my face, which will be the right side as you're looking at the screen. And I also applied the Morgan eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona palette. And you can tell a color difference between these two shades. You'll notice on the dupe side that it's a more peach version as opposed to Natasha Denona's side, which has a bit more orange by comparison, and it's got stronger pigmentation as opposed to the Aurora palette, this shade in particular. I personally didn't really care for the Natasha Denona shade only because it had that strong, vibrant orange in it. And I much preferred the Aurora eyeshadow because I feel like it was a more neutral peach and a little easier to work with. The next two shades I took from these palettes were Stellar from the Aurora palette and Laurel from the Sunrise palette, and I applied this on the inner half of the lid. Now you will notice a similarity between these two in terms of texture and how it applies. The Natasha Denona eyeshadow went on rather splotchy, but I had the same issue with the dupe palette. So if they were trying to match that same inconsistency with the Natasha Denona shade, then they did a really good job here. But 
it takes a little bit of blending and working the eyeshadow in to get it to apply evenly on both sides. At least that's what I noticed with this particular eyeshadow. Last eyeshadow I took from these palettes were Twilight from the Aurora palette and Clove from the Sunrise palette. And I applied this to the outer third of the lid and blended it up into the outer V. And this is another one of those shades that you will notice a difference between the two eyes in that the Natasha Denona shade is much more pigmented and it's a much more vibrant color as opposed to the Aurora palette. But both of them blend extremely well and they were very easy eyeshadows to work with from start to finish. Beautiful look all the way around. And I really feel like once you get the entire look together, even though I pointed out those differences between the two eyes with these eyeshadows, it really, to me, didn't make a hill of beans a difference, especially when we're talking about the major cost savings between these palettes. And despite those very subtle differences, I feel like it's a really beautiful quality dupe in place of the Sunrise palette. So if you've not checked out Alter Ego Cosmetics, I'll have their website listed for you below. I'm not affiliated with them. I just love their products. And I feel like when they create a dupe palette, they do a really excellent job of coming close, if not identically matching the higher end palette. And it's a great way to save some money, but still get a quality cosmetic product. So definitely one that I would recommend trying. And they do have other palettes that they've duped with other Natasha Denona palettes also. So let me know your thoughts on the Aurora palette if you've had the opportunity to try it out or just based off of today's video and if you've tried anything else from Alter Ego Cosmetics that has really impressed you, feel free to share that below as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another video in Drugstore December.